Welcome to our demonstration on installing a guest operating system in VMware Tools. In this demonstration, we'll learn how to install a guest operating system and VMware Tools in a Windows Virtual Machine and a Linux Virtual Machine. Let's start with creating a new virtual machine. As we go to Actions and select New Virtual Machine, a wizard opens up. We click Next, name the virtual machine as Windows VM3, and click Next. Select a host and storage for the virtual machine and click Next. Now, we select the guest operating system version. In this example, Microsoft Windows Server 2008 R2. Prior to installing a guest operating system, you need to copy the guest operating system installation media, an ISO file, to storage that is accessible by the vSphere host. Here, we attach the Windows ISO file to the virtual machine. The file is located on the NFS shared storage. We select it and click OK. To make sure the VM's CD-ROM, which contains the Windows ISO file, is connected to the virtual machine, we click the Connect checkbox. Click Next and then click Finish. Now the virtual machine Windows VM3 is created. To power on this machine, we go to Actions and Power On. Next, to install the guest operating system, we launch the console. We use full screen to view the entire window. Here, we install the Windows Server 2008 R2 guest operating system. After the guest operating system is installed, VMware Tools should be installed. VMware Tools is a suite of utilities that enhances the performance of the virtual machine's guest operating system and improves management of the virtual machine. We see here that the VMware Tools is not installed on this VM. So we click on Install VMware Tools. This will cause the virtual machine to mount the VMware Tools ISO, which is already present on the vSphere host. Again, we launch the console, go to full screen mode to get a better view of the window, and run setup. The VMware Tools installer starts. Click Next. We'll do a typical install, which is selected by default. Click Next, and then click Install. VMware Tools runs the necessary drivers for the virtual machine hardware. Once VMware Tools is installed, we click Finish and then Reboot by clicking Yes. A similar process is followed for Linux virtual machines. In this case, we have already installed the Linux guest operating system, so we mount the VMware Tools installation media. We launch the console for the Linux VM. Using the Linux command line interface, We'll make a directory, call it CD-ROM, and enter the password for the user account. Next, we mount the CD-ROM device of the virtual machine to the newly created directory. After the CD is mounted, we list the contents of the CD-ROM. Here, we can see VMware Tools. We use the tar command to extract VMware Tools to a temp directory. Once the tools have been extracted, we'll change directory to the temp directory and then to the VMware Tools directory. Now we execute the VMware install Perl script, adding the D command line switch to take the defaults. VMware Tools is now installed on the Linux virtual machine. Once the installation process is completed, we reboot the virtual machine. Installation of VMware Tools on our Windows and Linux virtual machines is now complete. This concludes our demonstration on installing a guest operating system and VMware tools. Thank you.